Celeste Diva here. My camera's like off. Oh, hey guys, Celeste Diva here, and I'm gonna be working on the button lace unit two. Back like I never left. Um, so if you've noticed, like the pace and the vibe of my videos is much different now because I really just don't have time to like you know create an aesthetic or you know film my videos in a way that are youtube -y. like i used to I, so I used to sit down oh i food in my face i used to sit down i used to have lighting and i used to go hey you guys it's let's leave a back like never left and i used to go through my spiel which the spirit is the same i'm still back like i never left and i'm still giving you another wig review and you know just going through my thing but my life is literally so busy now so I'm literally filming this um, in between a class that I have. So I do have a class. I'm just checking that part. I'm literally filming this in between a class. And so like, yeah, I just have to get into it. So I am plucking this hairline just a bit. I actually think I went too far on this side. I need to pull it down some. Oh, nope, not far enough. I may have plucked out all the baby hair. I'm gonna make sure that I can't. I like pre made baby hair because I'm really not good at it. And I do wanna hot comb it up just a little bit. But you guys, okay, so when I'm doing my wigs, the one thing that I really don't like about the current wig trend is the wax stick. Like, I feel like you just lose so much volume and body in the top of your head. Like, I know you want it to be flat, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it looks bad. Like, it just looks waxy instead of like natural hair. So, let's see. I actually have on, um, I have braids, I have stitch braids under here. And the wig is able to kind of hold it flat so that will work I'm gonna get my cap I'm gonna be using the super wide band oh it does come with two in a pack it's beautiful that's lovely I usually start in the front but I guess people with a lot of hair will probably know this you got to get that hair in in the back have it in the hairnet to me works better for holding down your hair as well. Use a little bit of edge control underneath. Put a little bit there. So I'm working from home today. My daughter's here. She has a little cold and we've just had a really lovely day like she has played all by herself like a big girl like she has been so good for me today we went to the hair store she was just chilling yeah it was like no hassle to like move around with her today and usually like I do work from home with her especially when she's sick I don't send her to daycare when she's sick or anything like that but still it can just be stressful because of like trying to make sure she's good in between classes and that sort of thing. And then like today it was just like, she was, she was good. Like she was playing by herself. She was just like doing her own little thing. So the braids underneath the back, like are not in the wig at all. So the only thing I want to do with the hot comb is just, Put it in there. That's good enough for me. I have an egg head, y'all. So I honestly always have like a hump right here. Like that's my head. It's not the wig at all. And so all I do is just make sure that I have enough volume in the top of my wig so that it balances out. So like my whole head looks big and not just the humpy part. Um, and I guess that's why I don't really like the wax stick look because it takes away that value. 
bow. And then I'm gonna go in here just a little bit to get that flip. And like, honestly, that's enough for me. Like, I don't wanna. Yep, that's good. Just make sure that I get that flip right there. Okay, so right now I'm trying to figure out where the baby hair is going to go. I think it's going to be right there, just a little bit. And I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, it's, you know, it's where it's supposed to be. So I think it's going to be there. And then like a big piece right here, like that. I think that's going to be baby hair. I'm just going to pluck that a little more. This is a tank that I get for putting you bitches on. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead. I have prepped my wig and I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and cut the lace off just because I'm gonna get ready to glue my wig down so it's really nothing to it I'm gonna push this back just a little bit for me because of the way my head is shaped and my hairline like and I'm just using, I'm gonna put y'all up here a little bit. And I'm just using um, the spray. Yeah, I don't want my, I want my like cap just a little bit back. Oh, I got that spray in my ear, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, I'm cutting my lace now. I had to use my active spray. nothing Okay, I'm gonna go watch the video on how to do the baby hair. I'll be right back. Okay, so I watched the video and she literally just did what I had planned. So we're just gonna brush there to the back. I'm gonna pull out where I want my baby hair.
right there. I will let you guys, I'll come back and let you guys know if I decide to keep the baby here or not. I just don't know how to do it. But the only way I'm going to learn is if I keep trying, but so ugly.